lead. Here's an inbound, high left side, won by Boats. Step back, three point shot for the lead is good. 5.1 left, inbound for TC. He's got to go, four seconds, cross the timeline. TC right side, full deflected. Caleb, shot in the corner, oh, it's good! It's good! Caleb Bennett oh, with a double clutch in the corner from 10 feet out. He beats the buzzer. Oh my goodness. And Missouri Western is going to win it. 82, Everybody 81. So Missouri Western will win it for now, but they will check the monitor. They got to check the monitor. They, we had fans on the floor. Ty Danielson's out here running them off. And now the monitor will tell us if this is a Griffin win or their eighth consecutive loss. They threw it high, high, high to vote. It's good! Yes! yes! Missouri Western wins. The bucket counts. And the Griffins get a shot at the buzzer from Caleb Bennett to defeat Pittsburgh State 82. 81. Bring out the bell. The losing streak <laughs> is over. The Griffins end their seven game skid. They defeat Pittsburgh State 82 81. And they want everybody to ring the bell at the same time. Because this is a team effort tonight. You said it earlier. Doesn't matter how it happens, they have to find a way to win. That's not how we thought it was going to happen. <laughs> But it happened, and the Griffins' seven-game skid is over. You know, we talked a lot about reactions um, with our guys. It's been some one of our vocal points um, with the team. And when Pitt State hit that shot, you saw five guys take the ball out of bounds, sprint down the floor, and hit a game winner. Uh, they hit the three, and then, you know, TC got it out right away. Uh, I think that was a good example of not having a compounded mistake. And even though something bad happened to us, we just pushed. You know, most of the time, TC is, he, he, he draws so much attention towards that middle. I was just hoping I could hit it. Somebody helped, I was going to kick it. If nobody didn't help, I was going to go up. And I seen his man was helping, hit him. He hit those type of shots every day. Like, that's not lucky, I promise you. It feels like the, a, bit, a big weight's been lifted off our shoulders. Like, after starting 8-1 and one, and just knowing how talented we are and dropping seven straight, that's just hard to take in sometimes. It's tough when you don't know what's going wrong. Um, uh, what we need to do better and you know we just we just hung in there and I'm just really proud of our team as a as a group because we could have easily just spread out and separated and just uh, got into our own shells but we, we dove into the team and um, we're going to keep diving into the team no matter what. But it came down to the ownership part it's the one thing we were missing. You know TC is definitely one of our main leaders but you know it's on all of us. This little adversity just just made all of us come together more and made everybody look in the mirror and like what do I have to do to help this team win? What do I have to do to, to make this team be the best that we can be? We've had a lot come at us and we've had to learn quickly and TC and Johnny have been there all year and they've really took control of this team. And uh, you mentioned Jonathan Mesmack, a guy that played zero minutes tonight and impacted the way of the game more than anybody in this room will ever know. Sometimes when you hold accountable your brother, you're not always going to tell him what he wants to hear. You're going to tell him what he needs to hear. And I think um, in, in my entire career here is, is the one year where there was that many people that were willing to say what their brothers needed to hear, especially lately. That's what we have on our team is accountability, which the, the, the guy that plays 40 minutes is going to listen to the coach as much as he's going to listen to the guy that never plays, which right now is really, really helping us. Everybody has a voice and everybody wants the best for everybody. So here's what you have to matter with the result of that, that togetherness. When this thing's all over, I'm going to be a better assistant because of it. Um, just certain things that, you know, as a head coach, you're, you're, you're thinking a million different things. And sometimes I'm mad at Coach Martin, like, you know, listen to the assistants, listen to the assistants. You don't even hear anything as a head coach. So incredibly humbling. Got to turn the page. We got a Newman team coming in here Monday. And uh, we're in no position as a basketball team to uh, hang our head on one win. And we're going to flush it, and we're going to you know, try to get this thing back rolling.